Before I start the video, I like to say Happy New Year to all of y'all, and yeah, hope 2022 is, you know, good. I don't even know why I put this beginning, but alright, anyway, let's just get started to the video. Last time on Sonic Unleashed! Retro, I found you, faker fucker! You'll get here so quickly. No matter, your road ends here. We just took the shortcut! Nice voice acting there, dude. If Retro becomes the new voice actor for Sonic, it'll make Roger Craig Smith look good. And that's no good! That doesn't look like a new power. That looks like a penis slayer that Retro would drive. <laughs> Imagine Retro drove a penis looking car. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, that would be hilarious. <laughs> this is hilarious, guys. This is us being the crap out of Retro. <laughs> what? I didn't do anything wrong! I was just being positive! You're not. Dude, stop with the BS, Mew Man! I'm not with the Drake Cord! <laughs> Now he's gonna bring out these apology missiles. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna delete all of them. Boom. I summon my dark magician. Dark magic attack. Dark magic attack. Are you fucking serious, bro? Why is my fucking dark magic attack not working? Is it out of order? Oh uh, no 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 And there you go guys Retro died <laughs> He died happily ever after the end ha, Same as ever all bark and no bite Retro's gonna be like Okay dude I'm sorry I was right I'm a horrible person and I will never do it again <laughs> Once he sees this video, <laughs> I don't even think he will. But hey, I mean, who knows? <laughs> if he ever does, well, surprise! Hello, my dear viewers, and welcome to yet another Let's Play of Sonic Unleashed on the Wii PS2. Hey, are you referencing Kimmy Moore's drop with though? Yep, yes I am. Okay, enough of the jokes already, okay? So, here's a question for you, Mr. Cypher. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, there's actually, uh, you know, Kimi Moore pedo fans, apparently. Um, what do y'all think of this? What do you think? Uh, oh my god. I don't know what to tell about those faggots. I don't know. Like, seriously. These guys have, like, a low life, legitimately. Whoa, I just walked through the portal, you know, and then just went off, and then it already activated. Damn. I must be running too much right here. <laughs> like they're thinking that he's innocent. Oh my god. Seriously. They're being obsessed with the past. Like seriously. The past. The past. It's the goddamn past. Did I got that South Park reference right? No. I don't know. The past, the past. Oh my God, it's the past. Uh, okay. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, I don't even know what to tell about those guys. 
I don't know. I mean, we won't be able. Like, he's already done with the death battle reviews. Madara vs. Aizen is already out. It's over. Just, just move on. He's not going to review death battle anymore. Madara vs. Aizen's already here. Like, seriously. Just move on. Like, are, are, there, are there still wanting him, to, you know, to, to, you know, to destroy Death Battle or other versus channels exposing them? Man, that is a one-dimensional kind of channel you have here, boys. Destroy, destroy, destroy. Destroy 24-7. Boom, 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 boom. There was even this one person who came to my channel and wanted me dead while I was spinning facts over a... Predator, and I'm like, this has got to be the most fucked up thing that I've ever seen in my life here. Like, they don't even understand the word sin. Like, seriously. Heck, we can even expose those people who defend them by, t by you know, telling them that they suck at English. They don't know words and shit. Or something else in that. Heck, I could believe that these people are so chaotic to support them. And my, my. They are just nothing but that are laughable. Yoppers and goons. And yes, welcome to the world of white knights, everybody. It's not like we, you know, it's not like white knights don't exist. They do exist, of course. DSP white knights exist, and so does him. So, boy, what do we expect? Climb to win! You know what, I can do this all by myself. Yep, there you go. I'll probably think about making a video about the Kimimura fanboys and why they need to move on and, you know, accept the truth or not. But that depends on when I feel like it, but for now, not yet. Maybe one day when I'll feel like doing it. Up to you, man. Whether if you want to do it or not, it's up to you. Jump, man, what the fuck, dude? Oh, there you go. Oh, come on, really? Now I gotta go back all the way here. Fuck you. Hey, can you grab onto that flying guy? Let's hitch a ride to the other side. Eh? No fucking way, dude. Did you just trigger a glitch in the episode? You motherfucker, how the fuck did you do that? That's impossible. No other person's ever done that shit before. Dude, just don't ask me, man. I just I just triggered that glitch by accident. I mean, heck, when I did the Egg Beetle boss battle, I managed to beat that in 20 seconds. You wanna know how I did that? I actually triggered this glitch by accident. That's what happened. That's how I got 20 seconds on the boss. I just found this glitch by accident. Now that there are no flying things right here, this makes us utterly hilarious. 
<laughs> There's no flying enemies here. We're freedom, man. Freedom, freedom, freedom. <laughs> Hey, uh, Woosie, wanna play a game? It's called Let's Expose Kimimura's Taste in uh, Gaming, Anime, Cartoons, Movies, etc. How about that game just to piss the Kimimura faggots who keep supporting this goddamn white bitch in this world? No, now Kimimura right here, he's gonna be saying that. He's gonna be like, What? I'm a white bitch? Huh? Are you high? <laughs> he's gonna be he's gonna be crying over this shit, man. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm telling you, bro. But yeah, it's just a game just to just for shits and giggles to see what does Kimmy War not like. Yeah. So that uh let's start the game. All right, I know this one. Dragon Ball Z, period. He doesn't like that anime. And that anime is an awesome masterpiece. Back in those old G days of anime. Wow, right where we're already at the beginning. Yep, yeah, that, that one right there. No wonder he hates Dragon Ball. Now, yeah, that is fine if you don't like Dragon Ball. But it was one of those great 80s anime. Back then, in the 90s, I think if I'm right, if I got that right. But yeah, Dragon Ball was such a really good legend piece that obviously deserves it. He says that the story is the same shit, the same developments. It's too cliche, too generic, and it's a basic setup, man. Bra, man. Dude, this guy does not know originality and OG. That's like, you know... I mean, it's like old school anime. Come on, enjoy it. And despite being a rage quitter towards anime, this is the reason why Kimimura, you know, can't do research right. I mean, heck, he doesn't know who Zamasu is, and that's because he has not watched fully of Dragon Ball Super. And because he dropped out the Cell arc, this was the reason why he doesn't know jack shit about the other stuff. Heck, I bet he didn't even know jack about Jiren once back then. He only knew him just out of, you know, looking at a few pages and that's it. This is some freaking, this is some freaking cliche, uh, per cliche facts right there. Cliche. Like, hands down. And yeah, there you go, folks. That's, that's the only reason why Kimimura has bad taste. Yep, it's one of them. He just likes Bleach, which Bleach kind of felt like Dragon Ball in bits and bits. People are probably going to disagree with this, that's fine anyway. But it was sorta of like that, bits and bits, to that point. <laughs> and he just wait and then he just reverses over this one. This is a Mario Party chance type bullshit. This is a Mario Party drugs right here that he's taking. Those freaking Mario Party drugs, like what's he taking? Like the originals or the or the garbage ass games? Like 9, 10, and 9. Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah, he says that anime was overrated because people can't shut the fuck up. Well, one thing to argue is that people have the right to say whatever the F they want. If they want to do it, even when it's dead or alive, then hey, that's the people's choice. So, people, tr so them trying to cry about the fan base is just completely, utterly, you know, pointless. I mean, if they want to say shit, they say shit. If they want to talk about it, they talk about it. You know, sort of like that. Also, may I remind you that he brings up Boku no Pico and says that, yes, they are the same writers, but seriously, Boku no Pico is none of your business. And this is the present on what he made. And Full Metal Alchemist is done in the past. Like, seriously, let it go. Stop bringing up Boku no Pico, like, get that thing out of the way.
Alright, right here, there's a glitch that Dark Spy and Sonic did, and all you have to do is climb up all the way here. But don't climb on the surface, climb on, like, right, right near the fence. And, like, once you land on it, just jump it through it, and boom, you'll be able to bypass the barrier. Where you have to collect those, uh, three thingamajigs. What, what are they called exactly? I don't know. And yeah, once that, you basically save like a bunch of time, because normally in this level, you have to get all three to actually bypass through the rest of the stage, you know. Dang, that actually saves a lot of time in this level. Hey, Lucy, watch this. Barrel, barrel, boom. <laughs> you thought I was gonna climb there? Nope. Whoa, how the fuck did you actually do that? Like, seriously, how? Just hold the guard button, and then move, like, make sure your stick moves up right. Yep, upright. So this way you'll be able to barrel roll constantly. Just don't panic. There's no panicking in this level, alright? Just hold it like that, and boom. Now, uh, gradually I'm going to try to get an S rank here, so I'm just going to pick up this much and just move on. Uh, there isn't an item I missed, it's like right near, like once we keep moving. But if we do that, then the bar then it would trigger the barrier that's locked in and we have to get all those three of course. So instead, we're just going to walk and move on. Uh, so this way we won't have to waste our time with that don't worry yes well this is a hundred percent lp we are going to come back to this level one day to get the item by taking the level seriously but for this we just want to do this lp for entertainment you know do something that's really unpopular that other people would probably do when they do their runs oh i see so, I, I can see what's going on with this to make this LP look somewhat interesting than any other LP. So, uh, anyway, is there any expectations despite you did the glitches and all that? Well, in fact, there's more to come, so, yeah. So, yeah, there'll be a lot of stuff that's really gonna be entertaining for the glitches. Anyway, back to the game. Okay, another one that Kimi didn't like was Soul Eater. Um, because he said the characters are cannon father. Like, what the fuck? Where is he bringing this shit up? Okay, I wouldn't mind if he shitted on Blackstar because yes, he is a complete idiot. But him being worse than Naruto, I'm gonna have to disagree on that. Naruto has done way gay shit before. You know, a lot of gay shit before and after. You know, that, anyway, in my opinion. So, definitely I don't really think so. Wow. Jesus Christ, these people are saying the same exact thing over and over again. It is proof that they are on drugs and need to see Dr. Phil. Oh hey look, you know what these guys look like? Those Kimmy Moore fags, who actually think he's innocent. Oh I know what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to slap these guys out of the way. <laughs> That's right, guys. Let's slap these guys. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, that's one down. Number two. Boom, boom, boom. Get out. And last but not least, you. Boom, boom, boom. Go straight to hell and run it where you belong. Huh? And there we go. It's all gone. What was I the just end. doing? Okay, let's continue. <laughs> 
Hey! And uh and then he's trying to think that Wait this up. is the new bleach. Just now. Okay, seriously, F off of that point. Oh, no, no, no. Down a bit around here. Get out. Truck another he one just got them sonic. bleach drugs, that's why. You now yes, it is true that the show is funny or not. Well, of course. But then later so off, it gets a lot ago. serious. Tell me, Heck, even Soul became someone of a really good character. He becomes immature now. at the beginning, but later well, on, he doesn't feel everything. so immature. He's now well, actually matured. Which, you know, brings his character somewhat interesting to, you know, to the show or not. So, and a lot of the characters really were pretty interesting to the story or not. I mean, like, Black Star. But I just like it when he's stupidly dumb and not. Just want to see it for shits and giggles and all that. You know? People can kill me if you want to, so... Yeah, I don't mind. But it did have decent characters when it came down to this. Maka and Krona, on the other hand, and as well as Soul, they were pretty great characters, and yeah... Krona being my favorite character in Soul Eater, one of my favorite characters, I also do enjoy the villains as well. They're decent and not bad to great. Oh yeah, I also need to read the manga of this. I heard it's really good. Up to you to read it, man. Up to you. And by the way, I have there's more that Kimmy doesn't like. He doesn't like Clan Ed and Cole Geass. And I don't even know about those two. Heard they were good. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I don't even read it, watch, read or watch any of them, so I'll probably have to take a look at them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I heard they were pretty good, so, uh, yeah. He also doesn't like any Sailor Magical anime. Madoka Magica is, you know, one of them that he doesn't like. I think that's nearly it. Oh, okay, I think there's, like, two more. Um, uh, I'll start off with a comment got kill. Really? I heard that he said that the manga is good, from what he's heard. Yes, it is better than the anime, no pun intended. But, if he were going to, to me, I think he would probably still shit on it. Like, besides, I mean, if he already claims that the characters are still canon father and their deaths mean nothing, well, to be fair, characters like mine, Tatsumi, and Kurome survived in the manga, where in the anime, all three of them die. Though, Run actually survives in the anime, but he does die in the manga, so... Yeah. It's a shitty exchange, in my opinion, so... Yeah. But ultimately, to me, it feels kind of rushed how it is, from what I can tell. Oh yeah. The characters, like, they just die being pointless. Well, that's the purpose of the story, excuse me. And that's Kimimura's problem. That's his problem. Because that's what the show is anyway. And if you didn't like it, well, pfft, good luck enjoying it. Like what it's supposed to be the story be like. Some Undertale shit where they spare, spare, spare. Or just have Kurume use the Yakuza on every single character so they can become zombies. Damn, that's repetitive as fuck. People would have already complained it right now for a few seconds. I'll admit that most of the characters are not great. They're just likables. Except Lobok and Ron, I think. They're alright in my opinion. It also has some good dark moments, which that was pretty cool. Which is way better than how the anime was played. Whoa, now to think about it, he really does have bad taste. Like, seriously, look like what would he did to one fish mom? Like, during that day where, you know, he wanted to, you know, criticize and shit. He just went way too far to butchering it. And just being desperate. Like, it already shows he has a sad life here. Like, this shows the fact that Kimimura has a sad-ass life. Just trying like this. Wah, wah, wah. And I'm gonna be like, dude, calm down, man. What the fuck? Like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> it's fucking cringe. And him trying to attack people who are the innocents? Well, folks, we can already tell he has shit taste. Yep, that's right, he has shit taste in life. Yep, 
There we go, folks. Once you hear the fact that he doesn't like a comic kill, you can definitely tell that he has a shit taste in life. Period. Fact. Now, yeah, sure, Kimi Moore doesn't like Ruby, and truth be told, we all know that. Well, almost everyone knows that. We all get why. But he shouldn't really be, tell you know, attacking one fish mob over his thoughts on Ruby, like seriously. To me, Ruby, like, once Volume 3 was done, it just turned shit. So, it's like getting to the shit taste part of the show or not. And hey, I mean, at least he, at least one fish mob kind of admitted that the 4th to 6th volumes are shit. And I can totally respect that. So, yeah. I don't know about Volume 7 and onward. I don't know about that. I don't really know. But at least he does admit that there's shit stuff in Ruby. Uh, well, that's good. At least that's fine from what I can tell. Uh, from a perspective or not. I don't also think that Kimi shouldn't really attack him for his opinion. Because one fish mob didn't do anything wrong. And while we're doing this game, while despite we're roasting Kimi Mora's taste in a lot of stuff in media, like anime. Oh fuck, I died. God fucking damn it. <laughs> oh, that's so stupid. Really? While we are roasting Kimi Mora's taste, keep in mind that he is a predator. He was in the wrong, of course. So obviously he deserves that fate, obviously. That's why we're roasting his taste, just for shits and giggles for you guys to laugh at. Because, uh, I mean, hey, there's anime stuff that are good that Kimi doesn't like, so uh, it's pretty fun to, you know, roast this guy up. Because we know that, that this trap, well, let's call him a slur, how about that? Let's call, that because we know that this slur is a motherfucker, you know, right? Right? Yes, indeed he is. Okay, yeah, you know what? We're just gonna do it like this. Yep, we can still do this without that, so yeah, there we go. But, uh, and now we can die. And keep in mind, he's the guy who attacked uh, his ex's opinion over Legend of Korra, which that's an effed up thing to do. Like, seriously. But don't worry, we got one more left for the anime, and then we'll move on to something else. And that last one is Neon Genesis Evelion. You know, the, the theme song that is like... Yeah, you know, you know, that theme song. I never even watched it. I'm gonna probably watch it. <laughs> I have no choice but to watch that, just to see what is the curiosity of the show. And he says that the main character is a bitch, and he's sick of it. And he also doesn't like the red-haired girl, uh, I think her name was Asuka, uh, right? Yeah, Asuka. Because she treats the main character shit. And I'm like, well, to me, I'm like, eh, I'm gonna go take a look at it all on my own. <laughs> Adventure style, <laughs> Hey, Mr. Cypher, watch this. There you go. I just got that item box. Hell yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay, there's one more. Uh, actually, uh, it's from a comment that I got during on my channel. And uh, he talked about um, Kimi Moore pissing off the My Hair Academia fanbase. Now, to be fair, yes, the My Hair Academia fanbase is completely shit. A bunch of anime fan bases are shit. Only a few of them I could think, in my opinion. All right, as long as they don't really bitch about it, then yeah. Um, and he said that his reaction to the Zuko versus Todoroki stream. Oh, I did watch this one. It was boring as that. Yeah, I think his bashing on um, you know characters like All Might was just. What the fuck, man? It already shows that he doesn't have the tastes, or is just desperate, you know, to... People's thoughts on this certain character. <laughs> okay, yeah. And, let's see, he basically talked about the Meyer Academia and the whole 
Deku as a character and especially that insulting commentary right he made uh, that he made all about all um, right I'm wrong I don't Sweet. know I mean seriously go watch it it was one of the worst streams okay yeah uh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I do also remember Kimimura shitting on Tusu Ashui, or they call him Sue in short. Um, I don't really think she's a terrible character. Now keep in mind, I only watched one season so far. I haven't watched uh, like the second season yet, and it's been like freaking. Uh, I think it's like uh, nine months. Yeah, nine flipping months. I, I haven't watched the show nine months ago. Yeah, I've just watched the first season, and that was it. But as far as I know from my knowledge, he isn't as a terrible she isn't as much of a terrible character. So why not? So yeah, that's that. <laughs> I don't really get where the hate was from. <laughs> Who knows, maybe people will come in and say that he's a terrible character, but I don't know. Hey, this is uh this is Kimi Mora's reaction to being all my person. I am here! Fuck you, all my you overrated piece of shit trash character. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> you son of a dick. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, that laughed my fucking ass off. <laughs> what? Archidamia Season 6 is coming, no any thoughts? Problem. Dude, you stupid ass weed! I haven't even watched the second season! Are you flipping serious, bro? Dude, are you on drugs today? Dude, watch people tell me to watch My Archidamia Season 2. I'll, I'll doubt you that they're gonna do it. I know the odds are gonna happen. I know it, I know, and I knew it! <laughs> Holy shit! Alright, there's one more uh, from a comment, and it's right here. Uh, off topic of bad taste, he trusts people that like Yandres, yet he likes lolis. I don't even know about those. I'll have to look it on my Wikipedia to look at those two. I'll take a look. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Don't worry, I'll watch those just for curiosity and fun. Okay, uh, next up is movies. This should be pretty short, so let's get started. Uh, but, like, he did say Endgame was shit, and that's fine. I don't care. But if he thinks that Infinity War should have been their last, then he has bad story taste. Yeah, he has bad story taste. Like, ending it with Infinity War would be kind of confusing. So, there you have it, folks. There we have it, this is all I said. I know Endgame was not a perfect movie. Yes, it is not a perfect movie. Yes, it isn't. But it, at least it ended off the way it... Let's just say it ended off a lot alright. Way alright in a straight line fashion. And yeah, don't care what people say. Okay, let's just take a break on this taste stuff. Roasting Kimmy Morris. We already covered up uh, movies and anime. But I guess that kind of seems like a two comment. There's a there's gaming, but that'll be a long while. Next part we'll probably cover that up. Uh, I think we had enough for that. Let's uh, let's save that for another topic.
Come on, man. I was right there. Get up there, man. Hurry up. There you go. There's a glitch in this area where you get to click through uh, a certain area during the Gaia battle part. There's a big. I'm gonna freaking try that. Come on, come on, come on. Get. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Why can I not do it? That's bull fucking shit, man. Dang, man, you just got your ass robbed, man. I was about to do the glitch and I couldn't. God fucking damn it, now I gotta beat all these guys God of War style. Boom, 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 delete, 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 boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Dude, you were just right there and you just got robbed. <laughs> Fuck this game, man. I thought I was gonna get it. But nope, it didn't. I thought I was gonna do it just like what you did with those rooftop run levels. Woosie, you suck. Dude, I'm a grown ass man. Like, not everyone's perfect, you know? Yeah, true. Honestly, I could have done the glitch. I could have made that happen. So we can save one minute of our time. But nope, the game said no and decided to make me fall off the stage, of course. Oh boy, maybe I should have button mashed my way through. Perhaps that would have been a better for exchange. Yeah, fuck you, game. Get out of here, you suck a lemon. Suck a lemon? Why suck a lemon? It's a replacement of the N word. Oh, I see. Mr. Cypher, I swear to God, if you make, like, another goddamn glitch in this game, I'm gonna be completely salty on your BS. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure about that, man? Are you sure? Dude, I, I cheat to win, man. I just play to win. You think I'm sandbagging? Heck no. I just play to win, man. I, I freaking cheat to win. That's who I am. Play, cheat, Sometimes sandbag. Cause that's how I'm gonna play anyway. Every time Kimimura keeps talking about his life, he's gonna end up acting like this shit in real life. 
he's gonna keep defending this shit like an SJW, and then later turn into a pedo, and then becomes a virgin. Virgin victory from Wonderful 101. What was that, Mr. Cypher? Are you on drugs right now? <laughs> or you just want to go for a swim? <laughs> I'm drunk. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know what the fuck was I thinking. I, 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 I was, I'm completely drunk in this. What the fuck? Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? Whoa, you just skipped through that section in a few seconds. When you're like moving, the, the, you know, the pole side to side, uh, there's like a, you, you can actually react to it somewhat and move in the, in a different angle before the selected angle happens. So, yeah, pretty cool thing that I had in this that you can do for speedrunning. Skip this no skills required leap. Oh, dude, what the fuck were you doing right here? Whoa, 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 are you drunk or something? <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, you almost fell down You had and wasted like so much time. What the fuck, man? I was trying to get up across that thing. I think there was like a speedrun technique where you could skip through this small section a bit. So, yeah. Huh? How did, what the fuck? How the fuck did you do that? Did you just jump on that enemy Mario style? I just stepped on the enemy and then jumped up all of the way there. That's it. That's all I freaking did. What do you expect? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, I almost died. What the fuck? That weighs b to the barrel's neck. Oh my god, I swear to god if you perform this goddamn glitch. Holy shit. Oh fuck. He, I don't even think he can do it, holy shit. Oh no, 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 no. This is so dumb. <laughs> this is so dumb. This is so dumb. <laughs> he can't even do it. Holy shit. Hey Wussy, we'll guess what I did? I did the glitch! Oh shit. What? What? How did the dippa 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 How? How? Mr. Freaking Cheat and Seek and Cypher just deleted this level. Also, I don't care if I get an A. Who cares? We'll get off screen. Fuck this game! Stay salty, bitch. Grab onto that flying guy. Let's hitch a ride to the other side. Eh? No fucking way, dude. Did you just trigger a glitch in the episode? All right, right here. There's a glitch that Dark Spy and Sonic did, and all you have to do is climb up all the way here. But don't climb on the surface. Climb on like right, right near the fence. In like. Huh? I did, what the fuck? How the fuck did you do that? Oh my god, I swear to god if you perform this goddamn glitch. Holy shit. Oh fuck. He, I don't even think he can do it. Holy shit. Oh no, 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 no. This is so dumb. <laughs> this is so dumb. This is so dumb. <laughs> he can't even do it. Holy shit. 
Hey, we'll see. Guess what I did? I did the glitch. Oh, shit. What? What? How? 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 Mr. Freaking Cheat and Seek and Cypher just deleted this level. Also, I don't care if I get an A. Who cares? We'll get off screen. Fuck this game! Stay salty, bitch.